PvZ. And uh, Solki is rumored to be one of the better players. Uh, apparently he's a Korean Grandmaster on the ladder. Um, so he's gotta be at least decent. Uh, although I think I think so far he's what one and one in StarCraft 2. Can anyone confirm? I'm I'm pretty sure he lost the game to somebody. So he's not uh he's not like the next bone draw or anything. I don't think. Anyway, man, Solo Moot is getting really serious when I called it an all-in last night. I was I was kidding, dude. I was kidding. Although it did seem kind of semi all in. I don't know. I'll, yeah, I'll learn the builds, whatever. Uh, looks like we're going to be on Antigua, uh, Antigua Shipyard. And, oh, apparently Bess has the best StarCraft 2 record, huh? Ah, ah. Why am I not looking at the production bar? Because I'm not used to it being there. Because I'm a brutal commentator, and I still, I still just don't realize that the production bar is there. Because also another thing is like normally, when I watch games, I'm I watch like when I when I cast Brutor, I look at the mini map 90% of the time. Like not even an exaggeration. Um, like most people watch the normal screen, but it's actually not very useful to look at the normal screen when you're commentating. It's much more useful to watch the mini map. Like I think Artosis actually even said pretty famously at one point like. Um, at one point, he had, when he was like really competitive in Brood War, he can actually at any point he could like you could give him a game, at and tell him the and show him only the mini map and like what the time of the game was, and he could tell you the supply of both players. Wow! Like that's how much information the mini map actually gives you if you know the matchups well. So I'm just really used to only looking at the mini map um, and not the production bar. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'll try to improve that. Um, I know that that's a you know it's a I mean you know some people don't like it, but it's a resource, so I might as well make use of it. If it's going to be there and it's going to be open, then I'll I'll use it. Um, anyway, looks like Probu made a pylon at the front of the natural there. He's moving cross map now. Overlord's going cross map as well. Mm. And yeah, of course we are. Oh, it looks like a uh, gastric uh, for the uh, what's his face, Solki. He was at 11 of 10 supply there for just a second, so that's interesting. As far as I know, I thought um, Z like Zerg players figured that it actually wasn't efficient to go for that, uh, do that gastric to get an extra drone. Like I remember in the early days, a lot of people were experimenting. Like some people would you know go up to uh, uh, like like do the double gastric and like get an extra two drones before. You know, before their overlord, but then eventually people just did some calculations, and I'm fairly sure that they decided it wasn't efficient. Like I remember Sen actually doing it for a very long time, even after people stopped doing it. Um, I think like Day Nine even did a cast where he's like, "Sen, stop doing that. It's bad," or something. I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong about that. But I, I haven't really. I don't really see Zerg players doing it nowadays. I mean, I don't watch that many games, but I don't think they do. Anyway, uh, looks like Droney going down here. Oh, uh, kill it! Kill it with fire! Oh, it looks like drones actually, or Pro Brothers actually just not gonna block it. Oh. So once again, we see the Pronos not actually blocking the hatchery and also going for Forge first. Uh, I'm fairly certain that was just a 14 pool, although I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Alright. Some people says Nest T still does the gas trick. Well, I guess if Nest T does it, it must be good. Anyway, uh, one cannon going down is going to make a gateway next. I'll ball that off a little bit. He's also built a second pile on the right side there. It's going to help it wall off. And yeah, otherwise, uh, pretty standard stuff so far. I think I see a drone there going over to third base. Um, so, so okay, going for that, you know, fast third, pretty standard. Looks like a random pro guy just chilling at the bottom right, gonna wait and go in for a, a second scout when he decides uh, it's a good time to do that. It's like double gases being taken by the Protoss, and yep, there is the third base, as you can see, for Solki. So, looks like the Nexus is about to finish. 
First queen gonna run down here to the natural. Uh, so I guess the second queen was already started in the main hatchery first before uh, before it finished. Pretty standard stuff there. Of course, you, you use the inject, and then the queen, you know, doesn't have energy, and you're just waiting anyway. So you, you walk it down to the natural, and uh, so you can get an inject off as soon as that hatchery finishes, rather than having to wait for the uh, for another queen to produce. And you, meanwhile, like the main base is already finished, so you just make a queen there. Uh, those links should be touching that watchtower. They're not actually getting full vision of anything. They're actually getting very little vision because they're standing right next to those uh, smoke thingies, whatever they're called. Wait, what are what are actually are those things called? Like the the vision blocking smoke or bushes or whatever. Does that have a name? I, I does it? I mean, it might not even have a name because you can't click on it, right? So, what is that called? What do you call that? Those blocky vision thingies. <laughs> smoke screens? Smoke screens? Line of sight blockers? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, looks like the three hatches are up, still no gas, he's going up to, or rather he has 29 drones now, probably going to go up to uh, about 40 drones. And then start taking his gases. Uh, I know he's actually taking them already, so um, putting up to I think only about 35 drones or so, and then double gassing his main. That's fine. And looks like the third gas and ooh fourth gas being taken by uh, by Sun. So he's going for some kind of tech here. Not going in for any kind of you know crazy six seven gate all in, um, and the overlord of the natural does see that it's it's well placed. It is in range of both of those guys, so he sees the two gases of the natural. He's like, okay, it's probably not going to be any kind of crazy warp gate attack, so uh, I'm not going to have to worry about that. Uh, oh, somebody says, ah, apparently they're called sight blockers, and apparently and that's what they're listed as on team or sorry on Liquipedia. So I shall call them that because Liquipedia is always right. And oh, it looks like a bit of uh, pressure here from Sun. Two Zelt and a Stalker are going to get taken out by these links, but the links don't have speed, so actually he's going to pull them back. Uh, going to run back to their to their mommy, aka the Queen. Meanwhile, Sentry in the main base trying to take down this Overlord. I don't think it'll get it. I think the Overlord will barely escape there. Uh, meanwhile, a few more warp gates in the main. And Blink is actually on the way now. And the Overlord did not see any uh, Twilight Council because it is at the natural. But ooh, the second Overlord in the natural is going to come in here. He's going to see the Twilight Council. And he's also going to see that it's blinking and being chrono boosted. So he's going to know something's being researched there. Most likely Blink. I mean, we did see a crazy charge lot Archon build from somebody the other day against Shine. I still don't know who that Protoss was, but uh, yeah, it's not very likely. And whoa, hello! It is actually going to be seven warp gates here, so it's going to be a seven warp gate blink attack. This is this actually looks very much like the build that uh, spoiler alert Janvi did yesterday in the Ace match against Hiva, and that did not work out for well, uh, not work out well for him at all. Let's see how it works out for Sun. So, uh, yeah, he's getting close to attack. Oh no, he might lose these sentries! Uh, sentries! Whoa! Alright, so people are saying in the chat that it's a plus two attack, seven gate, blink stalker all in. Nice. He's got a lot of sentries as well. Do you need that many sentries if you've got like mass blink stalker? Because isn't it? Aren't you just going to be focusing on just doing good blink micro instead? I don't know. Maybe not. I guess we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, it's like Ling's running around killing all these uh, proxy pylons, and he's going to get that one. It wasn't even canceled. Oh, he shows the blink. All right, so he shows the blink. I mean, it was, uh, <laughs> you know, the the what is it called? God damn, not Citadel. That's why the council was already scouted. So I'm fairly certain that. Uh, that Sulky saw this coming anyway. Well, let's see what we can do. Note, of course, that this is a must-win game for Sulky. If he wins this game, we will see an ace match. But otherwise, if Sun, if this all-in works for Sun, then that's going to be it. SKT will take it. Is it going to work though? He's starting to break down this back, uh, this back door at the third base. The destructible debris is going down. Looks like uh, he's got to keep that pylon alive, though. I think he's just got that's his last pylon. That's his last proxy pylon. If he loses that, he's gonna have to warp in a lot further away. There, it looks like there is one actually at the top left main, but it's still kind of far. And it looks like uh, Sulky just really putting the pressure on, trying to take out this pylon. He doesn't creep all over there, so he's very, very mobile. The units are moving in, and he's gonna go for the pylon. It looks like all the drones were evacuated. He does snipe the pylon, so no more really close warp ins 
for Sun. He's gonna have to warp them in further away and just move the units in. And uh, meanwhile, looks like a counterattack actually from Sulky. Sulky just completely sacking that expansion, going for a big counterattack. A couple more cannons being warped in, some sentries being made, but that is a lot of roaches. And the Pernos Wars is moving back, but it's not nearly as fast. He does have Blink Stalkers, but the sentries will be a lot slower. But no, it looks like uh, some sentries warped in at the natural, gonna force field that off. But now there's gonna be a big engagement in the middle of the map. There's a decent number of roaches, but there are Blink Stalkers and a lot of sentries. But it looks like the sentries now in front, gonna start taking some damage. Even if he loses all these roaches, if he can take down all of those sentries, that would be pretty good for him. He should be focusing down the sentries. Looks like he didn't quite target down many sentries. There's still five sentries left, and actually a lot of these roaches are getting taken down there. Is this the end for Solki? He's lost his third base. His roaches, roaches are not doing very much here. Sun has just taken almost no damage. Most of his forces are still alive. Oh man, he's moving towards the third base once again. I don't know why, he's already killed that. Uh, but it looks like Burrow is actually finished. Burrow has been finished. There is no observer on the map. Um, if you can just like keep them burrowed there and like, I don't know, wait until uh, until Sun walks over his forces and his Umbro is on top of everything, that'd be awesome. But it looks like Sun's just going to back up now. He's getting a Robo as well. He's got max energy on that natural Nexus. Clearly not uh, making good use of the Chrono Boost. But uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Oh, he sees the shadows! He sees the shadows on the ground! Sun was paying attention there. He noticed the borrowed roaches and immediately ran away. Wow, dodged a bullet there. Dude, he saw the shark fin in the water. He panic moded and ran away. Oh, he sees him. He's like, oh shit, oh shit, run! Oh no, blink! Blink away! It's like, just loses a couple of stalkers. Did he just shoot his own stalker there? Did, did he just shoot his own? I think he just killed his own stalker. I think he just killed his own stalker. <laughs> wow. Nice. Good job, son. Good job. So I'm just like, let, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm too good, man. He's like, Sulky, I'm too good. I feel bad. Let me just take care of this for you. And he just killed his own stalker. Looks like there's one borrowed link there, but it wasn't actually borrowed in the correct place. So it's not actually blocking the nexus. That, that is complete fail link. Like, that link should be denying that nexus. Although I guess the obs is out anyway, so it's fine. But, uh... <laughs> that poor stalker, man. Like, cause, cause that was one of the stalkers that blinked away too. So it's like, you know, he's at the edge, he sees all the roaches, he blinks away, he's like, YES! I survived! And then, boom, he gets backstabbed by his buddies. Oh, it's terrible. Hey, it looks like, uh, Sulky trying to, trying to take down these, uh, this destructible debris at the back of um, ba -ba 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 Sun's third. Let's see if he can do some uh, nice multi-pronged attacks here with a third and the natural. Although with Blink, it'll be difficult to make that really effective, I think. The Stalkers can just easily shift back and forth. Uh, and it looks like Sun doing a nice job splitting his forces there. Um, just keeping things in good positions. And, you know, Sulky doesn't really have enough roaches, I think, to make this effective. There's a few too many sentries there. So he's just going to have to uh, try and play catch up. Uh, and, you know, with Sun kind of playing defensively now, taking his third, I, it looks like we're just going to go into a long game here. Uh, Sun not going to press the issue. You know, he's, he's happy with the damage he's done. Uh, he, he took out the third base, and, you know, he's got a good swing, swing stalker force. He's going to tech up now. Probably he's uh, probably getting some more mortals. Going to go up to some Colossi. I don't think there's, a, yeah, there's no Colossi out just yet. And there's no, where's the production tab? Uh, I don't see any Colossus tech in the production tab. Just making more mortals. There are Infestors already on the map. We really want some Colossi, I think. I mean, mortals are really good, but you know. Once you get into huge max battles, you want a couple of uh, Colossi for that splash damage. And by a couple, I mean a lot. Uh, but anyway, let's say Zerg guy's max, but he's maxed on mostly roaches. So it's not exactly the strongest max. And oh, looks like he's gonna do the borrow to run away here. The infestors are out. I don't actually know if, uh, if Sun saw those. Well, now he does. Oh, no, yeah, he definitely has. He's got the observer there. I forgot about the observer. But, you know, Sun is at 170 supply. So even though he's. A, but he's got, like, a much better unit composition. I mean, those infestors are nice, but otherwise it's mostly Roach Ling. With good force fields, it'll be difficult for uh, Sulky to engage head on, I think. There's a decent number. There's three immortals there, a lot of sentries, a lot of blink stalkers. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. And it looks like a bit of a semi wall in there at the third base. I really like how this observer is just keeping tabs on everything that the Zerg army is doing. And here we go, he's moving it. Oh, he's gonna get one infestor trapped! But five force fields used to get one infestor and I think one roach there. Not the most effective use of energy, but oh, the blink forward to snipe the infestors. He gets two infestors, I think. 
nice move there. Lose only a couple of stalkers. I think that was definitely worth it. Nice little micro trick there from uh, from Sun. It looks like a big blink forward. He just wants to go for it here, forcing the engagement. Kind of random force fields. They're not exactly the best force fields, but uh, it doesn't matter. He just has so much stuff, and he is surging forward now. Looks like Sun has decided now the time. Now is the time. He's at 177 supply. You know, Sulky's still at max. Sulky actually sitting on over 2,000 minerals right now. I think he should have tried to trade down his roaches a little bit more, because now he's got to defend with, you know, just mainly roaches, a few infestors. Um, looks like he's adding on a lot of spine crawlers, actually. His spire is also almost done. Uh, there's, no, there's no Colossus anywhere or anything, though, so he doesn't need to get any, doesn't need to worry about getting corruptors or anything like that. Looks like a few stalkers moving in here to the third base, or rather the fourth base, but they're just going to blink out. Ooh, a bit of a, oh no, I'm sorry. I thought that was a miss blink, but actually that stalker didn't use its blink yet. Um, and, oh, going to get those guys caught. The SK bench, the SKT bench there didn't look too happy, even though some, should, I mean, he's definitely winning. But, uh, oh, huge blink in there. Roaches. They might be forced to engage here. It's actually not the best angle. A huge fungal on the stalkers and a big blink back, but another fungal could be really nice here. The Immortals doing maximum damage in the front, and it looks like, even though it's, it wasn't the best engagement, I think, for, well, actually, it wasn't bad because some was kind of against the wall. So it was hard for him to blink back, but it also meant like he couldn't get surrounded by Lings or anything like that. Either way, Sun's still up at 153 supply. Solky gonna remax pretty quickly with those roaches, and he's actually just going straight to Broodlords. His Greater Spire is almost complete, actually. He's also getting uh, uh, Melee and Carapace. I think that's actually. Or sorry, no, is that a, is that Adrenal Glands? Is that like the zooming attack speed, or is that actually plus three attack? I can't even tell. Either way, it's not a roach upgrade. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, apparently that is crack. Okay. It's not plus three weapons. <clears throat> Anyways. Roach, Ling, and Fest are just trying to hold off until the Broodlords get there, but it looks like Blinkstock is moving in once again to the fourth base, gonna blink up there. I think there must be an observer there spawning there or something. I don't know how he got vision up there, but he's going straight for the hatchery. Ling's moving in here. Is it gonna be enough? He's gonna try and micro around and take down the hatchery. The hatchery's at 300 life. I think he's gonna get it. Ling's trying to do damage. Roach is moving in here, but it looks like one stalker is left to finish off the hatchery. The rest of the stalkers abandoning their friends. That stalker was like Bruce Willis in Armageddon. He stayed on the asteroid to blow up the nuke. That guy is a hero. You should make a statue out of that stalker. It'll be like the crystal statue on uh, Cloud Kingdom. Anyway, there is something at the bottom right main there, but it looks too, it's too small to be a nexus, I don't know what that is. Is that like a mana pylon or something? Anyway, a roach counterattack going into the natural here. Blink Stalker is coming in, but oh man, the three cannons actually doing a lot of damage here. The roach is trying to move in here. Uh, run, run. They might even just burrow now, because there's no observer there. I think it's just burrow. Yeah, doing the burrow. And now the army is just like standing on top of them. Like, come on guys, just try and trample them. Dude, you should be able to trample them. Like, if you have enough... Dude, oh man, how awesome would that be if you could like trample uh, borrowed units with like massive units? So if you have like a bunch of borrowed roaches and, a, and like a colossus steps on them, they die instantly or something? Oh, that'd be sick. Or, like an ultralisk walks on them, they just all die. That would be awesome. Anyway, the Broodlords are out, but so are some High Templar and uh, Psionic Storm almost finished. So I think that's plus two armor on the way as well. Uh, Sun taking the middle expansion there. And here we go. He's only got a few Broodlords, but he's bringing his Queen's Forward. going to do some transfuses. And there's a lot of Blink Stalkers, though. If the Blink Stalkers get under the Broodlords, that'll be bad news bears. Looks like the uh, Spine Crawlers are trying to get in position to defend this expansion. Both players actually going after the middle base, but Lings moving in here, taking down the Nexus. The Nexus is also not canceled. Cancelled. Man, I'm actually really happy about... See, in Brood War it's like sometimes impossible to tell if something's cancelled, because there's no indication, but man, I actually like how in SD2 it actually tells you if something's cancelled. It's pretty handy, it's pretty handy. Anyway, it looks like some Link's also running into the main base here. Solky doing some sick counter-attacking. He's going to kill a bunch of these uh, probes. It looks like there's one cannon there, so the four Link's is going to go after that Assimilator. Instead, some Zelt's being warped in. But man, some sick counter-attacking. And actually, Sun is mined out at his main as natural, so now he only has his third base. He needs that uh, middle expo as well as his fourth. But I mean, Solky's not in much better shape. His main and natural, I think, are getting mined out as well. So he also needs his you know third and the middle expo to stay alive. But he's got the Broodlord Infessor composition. He doesn't have many spine crawlers. 
Rotas underneath to support them. He does have a lot of Rotas still. Both players essentially maxed. We are now max versus max. This is turning into a pretty interesting game here. Remember that, you know, at the beginning of the game, it was essentially, it was a plus two Blink Stalker all in. He killed the third, and Sulky did almost no damage back. So the fact that Sulky is fighting back so well in this game is really impressive. And it looks like the cannons actually don't quite cover the mineral line at the third base. So these Lings are going to deny mining quite a bit here. He's doing the whole position trick to try and kill some extra probes. Uh, for you Brutor guys who, who don't understand that, uh, if you just hold position the links in the mirror line, uh, they you know they won't just run around randomly and attack stalkers or cannons or anything. They'll just keep attacking the probes, uh, and and they won't actually bug out. Like in Brutor, if you try to do that, if you hold position and something attacks you, you don't attack the nearest target that's in range. You just bug out and don't do anything. So uh, yeah, it's it's quite cool how that trick works in, uh, in StarCraft 2. Anyway, it looks like the Brutor is coming in here, and it's gonna be interesting. I feel like just given the architecture of the center, the Brutlords are gonna be so so good. I mean, you know, you can just kind of slowly move on to the high ground and start shelling that, uh, that center expansion from the top, whereas the Protoss doesn't quite have anything similar to that. Um, and looks like these Link counterattacks still doing more damage. I mean, only sending in a couple of Links there to, to cause the whole army to move back. I mean, I think that's a bit of a mistake from Sun. He, he actually just moves his entire army back to deal with four Zerglings. Like, he should be splitting his dudes up a little bit better. Just blink a couple of Stalkers back and, and use those to deal with the Lings or something like that. But anyway, it looks like, uh, I think both players have started mining from their center expansions or something. It looks like nine Broodlords are on the field, eight Infestors against four High Templar. Oh, Storm on the mineral line. Just getting a couple of drones. I don't know if that was actually worth it. It looks like he only got three or four drones there, actually. Um, using up 150 energy. Two of those precious size zones. I, I don't know. I think he should be saving them for an engagement. Maybe he had max energy anyway, so he just wanted to, to just use a couple of storms and then, and then start charging up again. But it looks like he might be engaging here. He's got to be careful. He's going to storm again. He storms the Broodlords, actually. But once again, man, the storm is not doing that much here, and oh man, the Broodlings going in another storm. The Broodlings are actually clumped quite heavily, but some nice transfuses on them from the Queens. Man, somebody tell Sun that these are not Brood War Storms. They don't do nearly as much damage. Uh, meanwhile, a Roach counterattack this time. He's been doing Link counterattacks the whole game, but this time it is a Roach counterattack. He's moving back out of range of the cannon. He's moving behind the mineral lines. He's doing the whole position. He's going to start taking out all these probes. Sun does not notice that he's losing a lot of probes here. Sun is actually barely mining as far as I can tell. He's only mining now from the center expansion. He's lost so many probes this game, but his army is still really, really strong. These roaches just shooting this Nexus. The Blink Stalker is blinking in, but they just blinked into roach range. That's not the best decision. This Nexus might even go down here. The Broodlords continuing to force the Protoss army back here. Is he going to be able to get the Nexus? More Blink Stalkers warping in here. It's going to be really close. And there's the Burrow! Is, are, is there an Observer there? Wait, wait, is there an Observer there? Oh, no, there's a cannon in range. Oh my god, now, but it's not in range anymore! It is not in range anymore! And I think uh, Sun really needs a mothership right now. He, he's actually at 196 supply, he can't afford a mothership, but he's actually getting a vo Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, he's got a mothership already out. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, he already saw he already saw the mothership. Or, sorry, he already got the mothership, rather. Um, and it looks like... Oh, man, he, can he get a huge vortex on the Brutalos? The thing is, look, he doesn't actually have that many Archons, so he can't really Archon Toilet, effectively. I think he's only got a couple of Archons. He's getting his Dark Shrine right now. He's getting a couple more High Templar. Uh, looks like one Roach still chilling there at the third base. Some Corruptors, some more Corruptors in production. I think that's plus two air attack for the Zerg. He's got so many Broodlords, but he's got no uh, additional expansion. I think Solki really wants to get another base somewhere. I mean, honestly, he actually can get one for free. It looks like he's actually sending Roaches around to make sure that Sun doesn't have another base. But, I mean, Solki, I, I feel like, you know, because he also, he's, he still has a lot of Roach Ling that are pretty mobile. I mean, I'm pretty sure he can just safely take, like, maybe, I don't know, top left main or something, or, or that 3 o'clock base. I don't know, I think he, uh, he wants another expansion. The Storm on the Mineral Line, gonna get a few more uh, drones here. The Mothership has enough energy for a Vortex, but he's gonna wait for the right time to use it. If he, it, It's a good idea, because if he uses it too early, and like even if you Vortex the Broodlords where they are now, you can't actually go in and attack it, because there's all those Spine Crawlers and whatnot over there. So it's a little bit tricky for him to do. This is constant skirmishing back and forth, but there the Infestor's going in, a big fungal on the army here. Oh man, is he going to fungal again? Looks like he doesn't get the second fungal off, but oh, feedback on one of the Infestors. Is he going to get fungal off? Looks like another feedback going off, there's a lot of High Templars there. He's actually fungaling the High Templars. Man, I think... Alright, looks like uh, Protoss has come down and supply a little bit. He's making more Void Rays. I think he should be uh, making some more Archons here. He's, he's, I think he's still only got a couple of Archons. It looks like he's actually getting plus two air attack as well. And he's got the, the four Zell drop in the main base. Uh, not really going to do anything. He's going to force a few Roaches back. 
but that's gonna be fine. Looks like the Corrupt is coming over to take care of that War Prism. Looks like one Dark Templar actually warped in here as well. Uh, there's no Overseer nearby, so that DT is gonna do a little bit, but shouldn't do too much. But more importantly, it is a distraction here from the main engagement, although it looks like it's gonna be fine anyway, and now Sulky is in fact taking that top left main base. This is turning into a ridiculous game considering the opening, which was a, a Blink Stalker all in. And... It's gonna be down to the late game here now. Let's see, can Sulky, if Sulky wins this game, that would be pretty sick. He was in a horrible position in the early game. If Sulky wins this game, Sun's going to be kicking himself for not finishing it earlier. But it looks like we are going to have the movement here. Sun has had enough. He's moving in from the left side. There is the Vortex. It's not the best Vortex, though. He gets a few Broodlords, but there's a lot of Broodlords remaining. A huge Fungal on the army. There's so many Broodlords left and huge Fungals on everything. I think this was a huge mistake from Sun. The Corrupt is coming in. The Mothership is going to go down. I think it has a second Vortex, though. It looks like it might have had almost another 100 energy, but no, Sun is going to get completely demolished here on the left side. There are still something like 15 Broodlords in the air. Oh my goodness, look at all those Broodlords. 17 Broodlords out on the map here. Fungals, inf <laughs> Infestors, and Roaches underneath to help support them. And now this expansion of Sun is going to go down. He's going to have almost no mining. He's going to be mining from only his third base, which is almost mined out. He's losing a lot of probes. Some Void Rays are coming out here, but a crucial mistake in that big late game engagement from Sun. Didn't get the Vortex he needed off. Got ma and on the other hand, Sulky got some massive fungals, and now he's in huge trouble. Look at that Broodlord Corruptor Cap. The Blink Stalk is moving and trying to focus them down, but uh, Stars knows that Sulky is in an amazing position. The Zelts trying to do what they can. Looks like a big blinking underneath, but GG from Sun! Sun, who looks like he had the game in the bag. He took out Sulky's third base with his Stalkers. He was in the most amazing position, and yet... He decided to play it safe, to play it slowly, to take it to the late game, but Sulky proved to be superior in the late game ZVP. Son, Son looks so upset there. He knows, he knows he had the game and he gave it away. So we will be going to an ace match, ladies and gentlemen. Look at Bisu, can't even believe it. He's like, God damn, Protoss is bad in this game. Uh, <laughs> anyway.